Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 through 19, where it is written, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks from the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, Jesus goes up on the mountain to teach. We're calling Moses who went up out on the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments and the law of God. And Jesus is an intensifier. In the Sermon on the Mount, he intensifies what Moses said. Moses said, you know, don't commit murder, do not commit adultery, um, and so on. Okay, well, I haven't killed anyone. I haven't cheated on my spouse. I'm fine. Jesus says, if you look with lust, that's adultery. If you say an insult to someone, you insult someone, that's homicide. Because that's the standard by which God judges. And that is rightly terrifying. You think we're good and holy, ready to be in God's presence? Are you that perfect that you've never looked with lust ever? You've never lost your temper and said something mean? Oh boy, we're in trouble. We are sinners. We are not worthy. Before the presence of God, we be consumed, burned to a crisp. Until Jesus shows up and says, Yes, you're sinners. Thought, word, and deed, that's you. I'm a God of such love. I became human. My, at the cross where I die, you're forgiven. That temple and the sacrificial system was to point to me. I am the sacrifice and I forgive. The forces of evil that tricked you into sinning in the first place, I go to the realm of dead to defeat, to defeat them. The creation that you ruined in my resurrection, I will restore. The words uh, Jesus gives us concerning adultery, murder, and so on are, in fact, good news. For it's the way God always wanted life in this world to be. Imagine a world without not just no homicides, but no insults, no one being mean to each other. A world where there's not just adultery, but no pornography, no abuse, sexual misconduct, none of that stuff. That'd be a great world. And that is the world Jesus Christ is bringing. His appearance is always good news. Though we're unworthy, though we are sinners, though we break not just the Ten Commandments, but the law, the Sermon on the Mount, every day, his love is more. He forgives. And the new world is coming. What do we have to do? Repent. And repent. And repent. Every day, admit you're a sinner, you're unworthy. Ask our Lord to forgive you and ask him for next time to give, him the whole, give you the Holy Spirit so you can resist. For a time is coming. Right now we are sinners, even though we are forgiven. We are the children of God, too. In time, and not during our lifetime here on earth, but in eternity, eventually we'll be saints. And we'll be saints. We'll be sinners no longer, eventually. Again, not in this lifetime on earth. But God eventually will make us perfect, like he made Moses and Elijah perfect in the transfiguration. He in mind Moses was a murderer, but there he was, one of God's saints. So it will be with us. But repentance is the beginning of that journey. A journey of not just us, but a journey of the entire creation back to God. That return of our Lord where this all happens is coming and it's inevitable. So we do, what do we do in the meantime? Repent and try again. That's the Christian life in one sentence. Let us close with prayer. Lord, please keep us from being egotistical. God, please make us humble. Please, God, bring us always to repentance and new life in you. Amen.